if you are looking to become a developer, you need to start making yourself some deadlines and realistic deadlines that you can achieve and also to put you on a path of success. Shout out to everybody that's in here, guys. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com here looking to help you guys out, get into the tech industry and get started. Okay. So if you like this type of videos, make sure you subscribe and just give me a comment, right? Show me some love. It's a great way to motivate me and continue doing this great thing that we do here. Okay. So this video is actually motivated by a video that I did, right? Which is every web developer roadmap in 2024 is wrong. And someone commented on it seven hours ago, pretty much today. My journey starts today. I will be back after one year. This is bad guys. Don't give yourself a year. You do not need to give yourself a year. What you need to do is start giving yourself two months to learn a skill. Right. And then from there in under six months, try to get a job. That's it. If you go in and you start creating this high expectations for yourself where you say, well, I'm going to take a whole year for me to learn, you know, full stack development or I want to learn game development, whatever it is that you're into. Make sacrifices, give yourself a shorter time frame so you could get this done. Okay, because even if you go in and you spend a whole year, you might make a lot of mistakes in this freaking road, in this journey. And guess what? At the end, you might not get results. But if you go in and give yourself shorter time frames, you can go in and say, okay, cool. Let me see what I did wrong and let me fix it right away so I could go in and get some results as soon as possible. Okay. Now, a lot of people come in and they think of, web development, right? And they say, well, I want to become a full stack developer. The truth is that this takes time, right? To learn the front end, right? It takes some time to learn the back end. It takes some time, especially with all of the new tools and everything that's happening in the industry and even more tools that's coming up with AI, which is going to be expected of you to know, right? For those type of positions. Now, the thing about those positions too, is that for you to get them, you're going to need experience. There's a lot of people who already have the same skills as you. And guess what? They're going to start choosing the one that has the experience, not the one that is like, please give me a chance. This is my first time. People don't want to hear that. Businesses don't want to hear that. OK, especially if they're going to be paying somebody one hundred thousand dollars and up. You have to be realistic with yourself. OK, don't let nobody sell you that dream that it's so easy to do. It's not, especially now. OK, the best way to do it is the strategy that I've been teaching to all of my students at codingphase.com, which is go for the low hanging fruit. And you might say, why should I go for the low hanging fruit? I want to make things difficult for myself, Joe. I want to be more complex. I want to challenge myself. The thing is that you need experience without experience. You're not going to be able to get those top positions. Also, too, you need a solid portfolio. OK, so that's how you're going to go in and land the position and, and get in. All right. Now, I'm going to give you another example in here. Shout out to Jay Wright. Right. I've seen him comment a couple of times. Uh, he looked at one of my other videos where he says, uh, wait, how is this even possible? WordPress developers making, you know, X amount of dollars. Right. And he says, nah, I'll pass. <laughs> right. I'll pass on WordPress. Guys, you have been told a lie. OK, some of you guys think that development is only building things from scratch. Right. Um, and also too, that WordPress is a place where if you get in there, you're going to get stuck and you're never going to be able to grow. That's completely wrong. Okay. WordPress is a tool, right? When you are a web developer, you use the best tool for the job, not the thing that you like, right? If I like, I don't know, Ruby on rails, but I might need to build a website that has live chat, right? Well, you know, more interactions, right? Live interactions. I might just use Node.js for that, right? So you get what I'm saying? Like you need to learn how to think of yourself as a web developer and see opportunities that's in front of you and, and just not try to block it off because you're going to be out here without a job and, and without being able to get into the game for a long time, right? A lot of those guys that come in and say, now nah, I'll pass on WordPress. They don't even work. 
They don't even work. They don't have a job. They don't do anything with web development. They've been doing this for a year, two years already, or even more, and haven't made one dime of their skills. That's bad. You're not supposed to do it like that, okay? If you're learning a skill, this is not a hobby. This is something that you're doing to actually get results, get a job, put money in your pocket, and build a career from there on, okay? I'm gonna give you guys a couple of examples here. There's a lot of positions that you guys can get started with, like web administrator, okay? I've been saying this for a long time, and I know it sounds like a broken record, but I'm really trying to help people that is here. Whoever's looking to listen to me, I'm gonna help you, okay? For you to get a job, in under two, three months of training, right? The best way to do it is doing something like content editing or email development. You can learn those skills within a month, a month and a half, build a portfolio, and then from there, go to interviews for like two, three months, and then you'll get hired. So under six months, you should be already at a job. If you're not at a job, there's something that you're doing wrong because I've seen this happen so many times for, for students, and I can tell you, it works. It's not that it's me just coming up out of nowhere with this thing. It's like, hey, I've tested this. I've been doing this for seven years. I understand the market. I understand how people are able to get a job and how to build a career fairly quickly. I've been doing this for seven years, guys. Okay. So again, web administrator, right? There's roles that start from 55,000 to 85,000. And as you continue to build experience, you could even get high paying jobs like this one. This was 117 to $144,000, but don't get it twisted. There's also other ones that's 110 to 150. Okay. And then from there, you will also find other ones that are, you know, lower as far as you know, how much you're going to actually make 70,000 to 77,000 University of Louisville, right? Every company, every single institution needs someone to manage their website. Guys, this is like the most basic thing that you can do. Think about it like this, guys. You're not going to go and pay $150,000 to a guy who has a computer science degree, has a couple of years under his belt as a full stack developer, maybe has done even some software, maybe some type of game development or embedded application and then tell him, Hey, Bob, can you go change this image on this page? Hey, can you make sure that this product here has the right images and make sure that it has the right pricing on it? We just changed it from $50 to $32. Can you go do that, Bob? You're not going to pay that guy $150,000 or more to do that job. You're going to go in and have someone else, the content editor, the web producer, the web administrator, who is going to do that part, right? He's gonna get paid anywhere from 55, 65 and up, right, for that position. But again, he understands the web, he understands how the CMS systems work, right? He understands everything that has to do with the website and can actually do those small tasks. What does that do for you as a new developer? It puts you in a position where you have less pressure, right? You can actually go in and learn within you know within this company or this institution right be in the mix work with the designers the marketing team the developers right that's actually handling you know the custom code or the custom features so now you're in the mix you're using your web development skills and you're getting paid for it okay now when you go in and you spend the next six months learning more about javascript or learning more about php or another back-end language right now you come in with six months of experience behind your back when you apply to those positions it's no longer please can you give me a job you get what i'm saying that's what i call the low hanging fruit Go for the things that's easy for you to achieve there's nothing better in this world than when you actually get results OK, if you work hard, you, you know, invest money into your education, invest into coaching or online courses or just your time, which is valuable. You know how good it feels when you come home and you say, damn, I got results out of this thing. When your family members look at you and say, oh, sure, you working on your job. Yeah, man, I started working as a web administrator, doing some web development, helping uh, this company xyz.com or xyz university or xyz government you get what i'm saying like that's a good feeling because now you're seeing results other people are seeing the results of your hard work you get what i'm saying it's a great feeling now what's a bad feeling is 
I'm going to wait a whole year to then from there try to get a job. You don't want to do that, right? You don't want to put that pressure on yourself. You don't want to go in and, and waste a year out of your life and then probably not even get the job and then come back, you know, double backtrack into trying to get a, a simpler job because you realize you can't get the top jobs. It, it's just obvious, right? Like there's a lot of things going on in the industry. So you have to put the odds better for you, right? Now, again, I'm not here trying to convince you, right? I'm here just to give you the information, give you the facts. Again, web administrator is a great opportunity. Um, email development is another great opportunity. You see here, automation and email manager, $65 to $97,000, right? Um, lead email and SMS developer, $75 to $90,000. You're using web development skills, guys. This is not just like, well, he's doing something random, right? It, this is not a designer role. This is a developer role, right? But you don't have to go in and dive so deep into JavaScript, dive so deep into databases, you dive so deep into, you know, backend languages. This is something simple. Start from here, build yourself up, put experience in your back and put some money in your pocket. Right. You do not want to be like one of these dudes that's out here talking about, man, I'm not doing this, but they don't even have a job. They have no background in this. You want to be one of the winners. You don't want to be one of those guys that get frustrated and, you know, start commenting on, in your comments like the industry is so saturated. Trust me, it's going to happen to you if you decide to go the long road. Right. Instead of building yourself up every single step. Right. If I try to go in and say, well, I'm going to go to level, you know, the second floor. Right or the third floor of a building, right? But I don't get no results trying to go up. Guess what? I might feel, you know, jaded. I might go in and say, man, this game is saturated. This is bullshit. Daddy. You know, people told me that was so easy to get a job and this, this, and that. It's like, bro, build yourself up. When was the last time you heard of anybody in any career that started at the top? That's just basic shit. I'm talking to you guys like a human being right now. When was the last time you heard anybody say, hey, man, I started at the top. Anybody that comes in and has made anything of themselves in, in this world. When was the last time you heard somebody say, I started at the top? I'm waiting. It doesn't happen. And when it does happen, that's like somebody winning the lottery. It comes once to that individual being at the right place at the right time. Right. That's it. But for most of us, we have to live in the real world. We have to go in and plan this thing out. OK, so again, make yourself a, a, a deadline, a realistic deadline and say, OK, if I'm going to learn this skill in two months, I need to start seeing results. At the maximum. In a month, I should be already having a portfolio. I should be getting people looking at my portfolio work and seeing what I'm doing, because guess what? You need to start making some money. This is not an economy for you to just sit down. OK, you have to get up and start making things happen. All right, guys. So um, if you guys are interested in this, again, I'm, I'm passionate about this. I want to help people. Out. I want to give you guys the results that you deserve. Right. There's a lot of people that bullshit you here. I'm the only one here that's giving you a real plan. OK, now. I don't mind talking to you. If you go in and you say, yo, Joe, I'm interested in the tech accelerator. I'm inter interested in the diamond membership. Right. But I want to come up with a plan. Can we figure this out? Guys, there's a link below right there, right? Literally, you could go through the free training, watch the video. I break down all of these things that I talked about in this video in more in depth and talk about the program, what we're going to be doing. And then at the end, you could book a session with me. I don't mind sitting down for half an hour, an hour to talk to you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm here for you, right? So if you really want to make this happen, and you want someone to help you through this process and give you all the courses, hold your hand, give you the portfolio projects, give you the portfolio templates that you need, right? Adding the right tools to your portfolio, giving you that knowledge. Guess what? I can do that for you. I can help you out, right? That's what I like to do. I like to get results. I'm not one of these people that's like, hey, man, I just want to sell you a bullshit course. I don't sell courses, right? I sell a program. Right. I go in and hold your hand through the whole process of this to get your results, because guess what? If I just give you a course, you know what happens. 
Udemy has 20,000 courses and they're all $10 and $20. But guess what? Most of you guys don't even finish them and most of you guys don't even get results from them. So at the end of the day, if you need someone to go in and say, hey, hold my hand through this whole process, Joe. I need you to come in and give me some results. Guess what? We're going to do that for you. Okay. Click on the links in the description and let's get started. Let's make this happen. Okay. By the way, guys, for anyone that's interested and has their portfolios and they're not getting no results, guys, this is the last day. Okay. This is the last day that you're going to see the portfolio blueprint for $5. Go take it. It's literally $5. I'm breaking down everything that you need for your portfolio. From here on, this is going to be $27. Okay. So if you want it, you want it. If you don't, you don't. But I'm telling you right now, you're not going to see it ever again at $5. So take advantage. All right, guys. It's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingFace.com. Make some deadlines for yourself, guys. Don't leave this thing to chance. And let's make this thing happen. Okay. I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. Peace.